Howdy folks, thanks for joining. So today we are at 100 yards at the range with the Thompson Center Compass chambered in 308. Um, this is my son's rifle and we're gonna re-verify some loads today. Off camera, I've been messing around with a 168 grain Amax bullet uh, with a Varget powder. And I found around 43 grains and 43.6 grains to be somewhat of an accuracy node. So today we're gonna verify that. And I'm also gonna jump up to 44 grains, which is listed max, and work up in 0.3 grain increments until I hit pressure and see if there is an accuracy node there. I went up to 43.8 grains prior and I did not see any pressure signs. So we're gonna point you guys down range, shooting through a chronograph at 100 yards and see what this thing could do. All right. I see to be a flyer. Huh. Got two flyers in that group. That's really, really weird. All right. Barrel's kind of warmed up. Standard deviation was uh, just under 14. That first flyer kind of threw it off. Let's go on to 43.6 grains. Uh, I feel like I pulled that one a little bit. Yeah, that one should have been a little bit, a little bit more left. So that would have been in the group there. All right. Standard deviation is 7.75. Average velocity 26.62. A spread of 18. And uh, the group doesn't look too bad. We're going to let this barrel cool down a little bit. And we're going to go on to 44 grains. All right. The 43 grains in the beginning. First two shots were here. That was starting good, and then for some reason I had a flyer, went up here, and another one went up here, and that just turned the group to crap. <laughs> so, well, I don't know, but uh went on to 43.6. Uh, this shot right here, I know for sure that was a that was me. I pulled a little bit right. Um, first two shots were here and here, I think the third, and then the fourth was up here. I'll go back through the footage. But um yeah, I'm not too happy with it so far. Uh, this group here measures around a 1.25 inch. So uh, not what I'm looking for for my son to shoot out there with me long range. Uh, we'll continue on to 44 grains and I'll be aiming over here. All right, on to 44 grains. Let's see what this thing does. So I'll shoot one and then uh, check for pressure. Barrel did cool down a little bit, still pretty warm. This would be a three shot group. Uh, no pressure at all. Don't even see an ejector mark. Call that safe to shoot. Well. 26.96, that's screaming. Ooh, standard deviation did open up. Last shot, 27.23. All right, let me come down on the scope. Let's go on to 44.3 grains. Gonna see it at first. All right, a little bit of an ejector mark now. It's not too bad. The primer doesn't seem flattened though, so let's just try another one. Yep, 
Yeah, that still seems pretty safe. This one doesn't show that much ejector mark, but there is a little bit, a little bit there. We'll shoot the last one. Oh. Of course the last one opens up the group. <laughs> All right. Eight standard deviation. Uh, 2713, that's screaming for this bullet. And uh, minimal ejector mark. So we'll go on to 44.6. I'll shoot one. And if it doesn't look safe, uh, we'll stop there. This will be the bottom left of the right target. Huh, not bad at all. The uh, ejector mark is uh, just very minimal. Wow, that looks like a pretty good group. We've got 2712 as an average velocity, stream spread of just seven, standard deviation of 3.51 three shot group. Let's head up to the target. All right, looks like we got a group going. Check that out. 44 grains was right here. Um, of course, the last shot threw off the group. That was two in the same hole there. And it looks just at MOA, so one inch right there. 44.3 grains gave me just over an inch. It's a 1.13, I believe. But we're up there at 2,700 and um, 20 FPS almost. So that's screaming hot, um, and that's looking pretty good. And then of course the last shot of the day, this is just a three shot group. Got two in one hole here, and one right here. That gave us the best group of 880 thousandths of an inch. So I have to re definitely rework that. One thing I know about Varget is the less room you give the powder, it seems to perform way better. And standard deviation, extreme spread numbers really do tighten up when you're up there at the uh, max charge. So when choosing this powder, I decided to pretty much go three quarters of the way of the reloading manual and work up from there. And um, in my experience so far, including this one, it seems to uh, always find an accuracy node just above listed max. And you can see on the pressures here on this picture, uh, the ejector marks I'm seeing, uh, there's only two pieces of brass that really show it. And the brass is just uh, basically bump size down a uh, half a thousandth of an inch. So, uh, you know, that could be the reason for it. I haven't volume sorted those brass at all. So I'm going to go back and look at that. Maybe those two pieces of brass kind of have a little bit less volume than the others. And uh, maybe we could tighten up these groups, do some neck turning and see what those do. But for now, that is the results. 44.6 uh, grains is showing some promise. Well guys, stick around, stay tuned. I will be taking this rifle out for some more load development. I might drop it down to a 150 grain bullet and as well as try out a 178 and also a 208 to see what this thing likes. That way I can kind of push the limits and, and uh, get the best performance for long range. So if you find this uh, video helpful, informational, and I uh, helped you out, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you liked it. If you have any comments, suggestions, comment below. It helps me out, lets me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. That way I can uh, get components together and show you. I do have a pretty good opportunity to go shoot long range and pretty much shoot every weekend. So if there's something specifically you guys want to see, comment below, let me know. Other than that, folks, thanks for joining. Thanks for sticking around. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.